Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a friendly little chat and I am going to be finishing my calendar. So far we have this, yay. Oh, it actually looks so good on camera. Let's go. Um, I uh, will start it off with the fact that I literally had a panic attack last week. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, I haven't had one in so long and I, it really took me by surprise. I haven't had one since the fall and um, to this day, I still haven't figured out why, but I did have a point where I was like, you know what? It's probably because I haven't cried in so long, which I'll get to that. Um, I basically was just playing the guitar and then I felt like I was getting frustrated, but like usually like I, I get frustrated with things all the time like if something's not going well then I'm going to get frustrated no lie and um yeah so I got frustrated and then I was like wait why am I having a panic attack right now so I started having the symptoms of it I guess symptoms is the best way I can put it I guess and uh yeah I was freaking out a bit um so then I what I do is do the whole like there's that five senses thing where like you find like five things you see, four things you touch, you can touch, three things you can hear, and like two things you could smell, one thing you can taste. I think that's what it is. I don't know the like actual like full on list of things like the way it goes, but that's how I do it. And um, yeah, so I did that. I did calm down a little bit from that. But then I also, oh, I'm not gonna use this color. Uh, yeah, I did that, I whatever, I went through that and that was very, so much, so much fun. Um, I like the feeling of pressure like on me, like physical pressure there, where like, I don't know, I'm, oh wait, shoot. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find a purple marker and I cannot find a purple marker. Um, so I put physical pressure on myself where like, I put like a lot of blankets on. I like, cool, just put like, I don't know. Like that's the best way I can put it is physical pressure where I put like everything on me and I just sit there and yeah, this is going to be a really dark marker for when I have to, oh, it's actually not bad. Um. Yeah, so I did that. I put a fan on, I put a candle on, and I put lo-fi music on. And um, I sat there and was just relaxing. I really, it really does help me personally. And hopefully that helps you guys as well if you guys are ever going through that. And uh, yeah, so one thing is that I, uh, oh, another thing I did do was actually um, put head like or not put heavy uh, read my journal like I had a few pages where like it was like a list of things I love in my life like the smell of rain like all that kind of stuff and then I have a list of things that like make me me I guess in my journal and um, it kind of helps me just like relax whatever. And then I journaled after that, like just about like, what what do I, what why am I freaking out basically? And um, that's where I did come to the conclusion that I just haven't cried in so long. And um, yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, cause I couldn't, I just couldn't pinpoint why I was crying. And I was like, what in the world is going on with me? Um, so, I figured, yeah, it's probably because I haven't cried. And, or why am I crying? Well, I guess I was crying, but like, why was I having a panic attack? And, um, yeah. So it was just so much fun. I loved it. It was 10 out of 10 experience. Um, but yeah. I uh, also, yeah like there was there hasn't been anything that's been like affecting my life like in a negative way lately either so that's why i was very confused about the whole thing but um yeah like right now i'm just kind of vibing so then i was like 
I don't know. This week was good though. Like I didn't really go any. I didn't. Not really. I didn't go through literally anything. Um. So yeah, it's. It's just <laughs> amazing. Uh. But yeah. Um. So. The next thing I do want to talk about is negative self-talk. I'm actually just gonna like keep this in, on pause because writing down and talking, it's kind of hard because I'm scared I'm gonna start writing down like what I'm saying like out loud and it's gonna ruin my whole calendar. But um, this is what it looks like. Very nice. Um, very, very nice. Um, pretty happy about it. So, um, the next thing, negative talk, self-talk, right? So um, the big thing here is that you are your biggest bully. That's what I've learned, honestly. Like I've learned that through my own life where like if anything's, if, any, if I'm going through anything, it's literally all me. Basically it's what I'm thinking, what I'm what like talking about in my own sense, like my own life and um, yeah and there was like a period of my life where i was like really big i still am kind of big on it but the law of attraction and the idea of that like really changed my perspective on the way i talk to myself because like ultimately like the main thing is that you are you're in charge of the way you think and the way you think affects your life so if you're constantly thinking bad about yourself you're just gonna keep attracting the bad and it's gonna keep happening. Like where like, oh, I'm not good enough. Like I can't lift this weight. I can't do this. Like all this other negative stuff and you are completely in charge of thinking it, right? So that's not good. Like all of that is true then. Like if you're gonna keep putting that in your own head, like I can't do this, I am not blah enough. Like you are going to keep thinking that way. and. My biggest advice is like shifting your mentality from like a, you know, like poor me type thing where you're constantly talking bad on yourself to literally like thinking of everything higher than what you even have a goal set to. So like if I have a goal to lift 20 pounds, then I'm going to try lifting 50 because like you're trying to like exceed yourself and um like constantly thinking like yes i can do this like i am strong enough i am whatever enough and all that other stuff and that like really helps shift like the way you like the way you live your life basically so like in this period of my life i'm thinking a lot more of the good things about myself and all that other stuff rather than constantly dwelling on like oh why can't i be like pretty enough blah 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 and like constantly thinking so negatively on myself and um yeah, I think a lot of great things have happened since I've shifted my mentality and it does take a lot to do that, honestly, because if you've always been that way where you're always negative, like I have always been kind of negative on myself at least, um, then there's gonna be a lot to change there because then you're like, once you're facing an obstacle, you're like, oh shoot, like, can I do this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So yeah the law of attraction you guys really i suggest everyone looking that up because if you further understand it more than what i'm trying to explain it as then it'll really benefit you in the long run because my life is basically shaped around that like now that i know how to fix it now that i know how to do it all like it's helped me so much and i've really like changed my life for the better because i further understood the law of attraction so yeah that was that was a lot that was a rant about the law of attraction <laughs> but yeah ultimately changing your mentality that is the main point out of that is that you believing in yourself you saying all this stuff about yourself affects you in the long run or the short run so yeah why don't you talk good to yourself you know like that's a good way to see it um Lastly, I'm going to be talking about music and how it affects your mood. So if you're like me, um, I love, I'm a sucker for a good sad song. I, <laughs> I keep the like same like five sad songs in every single playlist because they're just like good songs and I like maybe singing to them or anything like that. And um, I'm not probably the best example when it comes to music because I do listen to sad music a lot. 
but it's not because I'm sad. It's more like I really like the artist. I really like, like Frank Ocean, like it's hard not to love him. So I'm like constantly listening to strictly Frank Ocean. And um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, it like music, I've talked about this in like a video before, but it was like very brief. And I just kind of like talked about how important it is to listen to music and how it affects your mood like and makes you a lot happier because you are listening to music. Um, but I you would use it as more of like a form of therapy, but I constantly am playing music. Like I am always like, if I'm walking around, I'm always like having my AirPods in whatever, and I'm just listening to music. And um, yeah, music is a very big part of my life. So I just always have it on me. And um, yeah, I'll link my Spotify because I do have a lot of playlists that are either good or bad in your opinion <laughs> i do have like a yeah so i have a few playlists where it's like oh i'm in a good mood blah 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 and i listen to those i've been listening to my playlist in my room a lot and it's more just like i guess vibey songs rather than just like i don't know i've never been a rap listener either though like i've never really indulged myself into listening to rap music all the time like i don't know how you can <laughs> i just think it's so like i don't know i'm just not a i'm not a rap girl i will listen to rap like i do know a few songs but i just don't primarily listen to that like when i'm in the car i do not want to listen to rap music if i'm driving through like a like a mountain range like you gotta you gotta match your vibe with what's going on in the exterior so like that um i do i just listen to a lot of music that i can just walk to kind of bop to and like just i don't know so i suggest making your playlists something that is that makes you happy because if you're listening to music that's sad and it makes you happy I honestly think it's not that bad because I have a bias. I mean, I, I do have a bias because I listen to sad music, but it's also like my favorite kind of music. So I'm like, personally, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me, but it also, if I am low in the dumps and I listen to sad music, it will keep me sad. So that's why I do have a few like feel good playlists where I'm like, okay, I'll listen to these playlists if I'm, list if I'm feeling bad, but if I'm like feeling good about myself, whatever, I will listen to my 15 hour playlist because I also am very disorganized when it comes to playlists. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you guys, I'll link my Spotify in the, in the description. You do what you want with that. Um, but yeah, I want more friends on Spotify. So follow me and I'll follow you back and we can be friends on Spotify because I love, I love finding new music. And so like, if, if I see that you're listening to a cool song that I'm gonna try listening to it and that kind of just, this is how I interact with my people. We are going to make a combined Spotify playlist. That sounds kind of fun actually. I'm getting pretty sidetracked, but it's probably because I'm like doing this and then I'm also talking. It's just all over the place, but <laughs> yeah. Um, that's it for this week though. I mean, not much to to the video, but um, that's all right. I kind of got what I needed to say. Um, next week, I'll do something more than just talking. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what I can do with the camera. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, love you guys. Have a great week. Have a great month. Happy July. Remember, you start talking good about yourself. Everybody just love yourself you know that's usually the end of the video every single time it's just love yourself appreciate yourself a lot more talk to yourself better like say you're pretty in the mirror say your muscles are looking huge in the mirror and um keep giving yourself compliments because the more you feed into that the more great things will happen to you in your life you are manifesting the best life you can get so yeah uh love you guys see you guys have a great week see you guys next week Happy July. I've said this already. So yeah, see you.